For all those who appreciate the work that we're doing here on Standing for Truth, please hit that subscribe button because we are just getting started. Maybe I'll, I'll pop this one up on screen, Dr. J. This is a question from Praise I Am That I Am. And he asks, my question is, what's your opinion on what's the best piece of evidence that separates man from apes? Well, that word best is sort of rel relative there. Uh, we were talking about the debate between me and Professor Herman Mays at, uh, in uh, um, Huntington, West Virginia at uh, Marshall University. And actually, they, evolutionists like to bring up the human chromosome 2 fusion. Because that's one of the things they like so much, I think it's wonderful and fabulous to bring up that all, no simian species, no no group of the great apes has that fusion, but we all do. No human lacks that fusion, which really, really documents uh, a, uh, a non-relation between the, uh, uh, the genetic uh, family trees that, that because that change would have had to happen exactly at the moment that we split off from the apes for no apes to have it and all humans have it. And they like to point to it as some kind of a, woo, woo, you know, uh, 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 senses tickling uh, intimation that evolution is actually true. Because of that, I think that's the best argument against um, the connection between people and monkeys is the chromosome two fusion. Whether the fusion actually happened or not, uh, I'll just give them that it did. I mean, the, the banding on the chromosomes uh, lines up with the, <laughs> lines up with that actual concept, but I think it's evidence that we're not related to monkeys. Now then there's all the other, and I'm just gonna call it the obvious stuff, like that our brains are three times bigger and that the FOXP2 gene uh, produces a protein on brain growth in us that's only two amino acids different from the brain growth enzyme in monkeys. And Svante Pabo, who did all that research on the FOXP2 gene says, look guys, there's got to be something way more than those two amino acids to cause this difference of a, a we can we have the power of speech. Our brain is three times bigger, and uh, there's a lot more going on. Just uh, a la John Sanford um, and the mystery of the genome, um, it's it's there's a lot more going on that we just are ignorant of and really don't understand, and we need to be humble and admit that. Uh, but there are so many the S curve. Um, in the human spine and a C-shaped curve in the monkey spine, the barrel rib cage in a monkey and the more flattened rib cage of a human. Uh, the, the things Dr. Menton talks about in the, uh, David Menton in the skull, uh, the zygomatic arch, the uh, dental arcade being more V-shaped in a human and more U-shaped or, you know, on the front, all the teeth lined up in the front uh, with the monkeys. Uh, of course, the, the bones between the knuckle on a monkey are arched and ours are straight. Uh, the thumbs they have on their feet, uh, you know, all, all of these things are so, the, uh, the hip bone, the, the scapula, uh, so many things that are very easy to see as differentiations. And you can see these differentiations in the so-called missing link fossils, all of them can be uh, shunted off to be either being humanoid or anthropoid, uh, uh, monkey-like.